Hey guys, my name is uh, Vivek Sharma and uh, today we can cover this interesting problem that's called the closest binary search tree value. So in this case, uh, we have been given particular binary search tree and we have been given target and we need to find it out that what is the closest value that it's already there in this binary search tree, right? So let's see some example. Let's say this is four, this is one or maybe three and then this is let's say seven, okay? and uh, let's say i have been given like some value that's called uh, so in this case it's 3.7 right and then so let's say i'm having 3.7 or some target value right so what's the closest value uh, of in the binary search tree right so if i calculate this 3.7 minus 3 it's 0.7 and 4 minus 3.7 equals to uh, 3 and then basically 1.3 so in fact it's 3 right Point 0.3 so this is point 0.3 and this is point 0.7 right so the closest value because the difference is less so the closest value is 4 right I'm just uh, using the same mechanism that we just to calculate like what is the closest value right so the difference between 4 and 3.7 that's lesser than the difference between 3 and 3.7 right and that's the reason this 4 is the closest value of 3.7 right so maybe we can use the same mechanism as well while solving this problem and when i say the same mechanism we can just uh, take uh, uh, a result as a root and then we can just keep subtracting from 3.7 and whatever the lesser value is there we can just reassign our result whatever the result is there and that will be the potential result right so that's what we can do and this is the binary search tree so one advantage is there we can just go left side if target is lesser and go we can traverse to the right side if uh, target is greater than the root value okay so let's uh, try to do the same thing because the return type is uh, integer so let's take result is root dot well right and then let's say if while root is not equals to null right and then if basically my target and that is less than root dot well let's go to the left side okay so let's go to the left side let's otherwise let's go ahead to the right side right so this is the uh, root dot null and uh, uh, because res is this thing so what we can do we can just check if uh, this is kind of the base condition there is no recursion here but uh, base condition when i say like this is the main condition that we want to see that what is the result right so we can say our target minus root dot well for example right and if it is less than target minus res right in that case what will be our result result will be root dot well so if we go back to the whiteboard and we can see it here it was four right and three and seven right and our target is for example 3.7 so what we are doing we are just subtracting four minus 3.7 and 3.7 minus 3 or 3 minus 3.7 so it's 0.7 and 0.3 so 0.3 is lesser it means this is the potential result so potential result is 4 right because this 0.3 is lesser than 0.7 and the same logic we can apply it here and uh, we don't uh, want to consider sign so we can use math.absolute value just to get rid of uh, sign as well so let's go ahead and do the same thing okay so this is the case okay so and now res is root dot well and in the end let's go ahead and return res right so that should be sufficient for this problem so let's go ahead and try to run this and let's see so this is working for this one let's try to go ahead and submit this guy so okay so this is working correctly and now if we 
analyze the complexity so time complexity will be basically we are just going left or right so log n basically we are not uh, going every node because this is a binary search tree so we can just easily go uh, left or right accordingly that whether target is lesser or greater right and a space complexity that will also of course will be the log n because we are just going we are just following the binary search tree property here okay so that's it uh, and uh, i think yeah that's pretty much it okay thank you guys bye